Federal Prosecutor Howard Piansky couldn't say much, but he did say this. I think any time uh, somebody's charged with leaving Canada to join a terrorist organization, it's, it's a significant case with significant uh, charges. Ikar Mao was already living under strict court-imposed conditions because of fears he might commit a terror offense. This morning, the 22-year-old was formerly charged with participation in the activity of a terrorist group and leaving Canada to participate in that activity. Terror-related charges are rare in Canada. Each count carries a maximum sentence of 10 years. Mao's lawyer didn't want to comment today. In Ottawa, the public safety minister was also tight-lipped. I am aware that the matter is being uh, investigated thoroughly and independently by the RCMP. Um, I am also ad advised that charges have been laid in with respect to that investigation and I'm not going to comment on any matter that's currently before the court. It's not known what evidence led the RCMP to lay charges. There's a publication ban in place. But CBC News was able to view confidential documents from Turkey that shed light on why Mao was detained there for three months this year. Turkish authorities alleged he was using Telegram, the app favored by ISIS, and that he had downloaded its propaganda on his phone. Videos like this one. He said the videos appeared on his device through normal web surfing activity. He was released from Turkey in October. RCMP was already investigating him when he returned to Canada. When the hearing ended, Mao was let out in handcuffs. He will remain in custody at least until Wednesday his next court date. Katie Nicholson, CBC News, Toronto.